Hi world, it's 10.45 in the morning, it's the 12th of March 2015 and this is my astrological forecast for the day and for the short term future. I'm going to be away at the weekend, I will be doing videos, I'll be teaching up in the Welsh borders for a couple of days but I will be doing videos from exotic remote places no doubt. Um, today Mars is still conjunct Uranus and square Pluto, although the exactitude has passed in this last 24 hours. This last 24 hours has seen an element of extremism in a large number of ways. Uh, I'm finding for my phone and email in the last 72 hours has been pretty busy and it's just experiencing a downturn now. So it tells me that the worst of the uh, immediate crises and traumas of recent times are coming to a close. I notice that yesterday the sun went ballistic. There's been um, a growing group of very strong, both positive and negative sunspots next to each other in this, on the sun's surface for this last week. And it's been getting bigger and bigger. And when you get both positive and negative magnetic storms on the sun's surface right next to each other, it generally results in an explosion. And there was one yesterday afternoon, about 4.30 p.m. UK time. And the coronal mass ejection, the CME, was big. It was bigger than the planet Earth. Fortunately, it went a long way away from us. But the, uh, the, the electric shock wave, if you like, did affect Earth. And there was big radio blackouts yesterday for a couple of hours in northern South America, the Caribbean. Lots of interesting light shows last night, I expect. And the danger for um, further sun activity today is strong. I would expect further electrical malfunctions today and there's also quite a strong earthquake potential at a low level earthquake and volcanoes at a low level not large there are clear heliocentric astrological significators of large scale earthquakes and volcanoes and they're not around at the moment it is low level geophysical activity um, the moon is now in Sagittarius. It's away from that Scorpionic influence. As we speak, the moon is just conjuncting Saturn and about to square Neptune. So um, this morning, as I speak, there's an element of rest restructuring, reformation, allowing certain old boundaries to dissolve, whilst also on the positive side, bringing Saturnine structure into the more creative imagination of Neptune. A square from Saturn and Neptune building over the next six months, either restructuring the imagination or the dissolving of old boundaries, perhaps both, but neither because it's a square in an exactly easy way. Uh, that's for the future and that's for the planet worldwide as we get towards the end of the year. As we speak, Mercury is finally about to leave Aquarius. Um, where is he now? 29 degrees Aquarius. So he's going to leave Aquarius in the next 24 hours for the first time since about January the 6th, January the 7th. So all Aquarians can breathe a sigh of relief. Uh, the freneticism and the hecticness of the last couple of months and particularly the miscommunications that have been affecting those people born in the first, I don't know, half of Aquarius, half of Leo. It's, it's about over now and we can move forward. Um, Mercury's going to move into Pisces for about three weeks tomorrow and that's going to create a very different communicative dynamic both collectively and individually. The big picture now is the wind down from the Mars-Uranus conjunction. Um, this is not to, actually I used exactly the wrong word there, it's not a wind down. What is happening now is that the Mars-Uranus-Pluto energy is not going away but it's peaking. And we as a species, collectively, if I were to be looking at the whole species as one organism, I would be saying that what's happening now is that we're not ramping up the pressure anymore. The added accelerated intensity and extremes of recent weeks is now plateauing. It's not going down. It's plateauing. And it's going to stay plateauing now until the start of April. Um, We'll get through the solar eclipse, all right, I think. It's the lunar eclipse on the 4th of April that provides what I see as final end game to 2014. And uh, around the same time, geocentrically, Mars leaves Aries and moves into Taurus. And by the time we're into, say, April the 6th, April the 7th, it's a very different ball game to any time so far this year. So 
for the next three weeks. It's not going to get any more intense or extreme, but it doesn't mean it's going to lighten up either. We are plateauing, we are leveling, and um, it's going to be an interesting time. There will be now results. To quote Ben from Suspicious Observers, eyes open, be safe. Catch you later, folks. Bye.